Welcome friends. Today I am going to discuss about the error tracking tool Sentry. This is an online tool for error tracking. So in any application, if you get error, what you will get? Either it's in the console or in the log, right? But if the error is visible in online and you can share with it and not only share with in your team you can share in the social media also so that you can get help so sentry is the open source uh, tool uh, that online link and the where you can your error will be published here and you can identify that frequency of error and that similar kind of error so this is the sentry.io here you have to register you can register using github or you can uh, just register uh, with the new name password and uh, the code I have already uploaded here in uh, in this uh, github link I have also given and this is the logo of the sentry and this is the spring and uh, now uh, so what language is supporting sentry so I have done for the Java so nowadays it's not only Java lot of uh, language is coming into picture for apple coco and android many things so you can use sentry for many language so multi-purpose use so javascript also <clears throat> so what's the advantage for the sentry it's a quickly find and fix production error for triage reproduce and the resolve error it's a very easily and see the impact of each release so every release number you have so you know that uh, for every release uh, that in which release this error happened so you can not only track for the application error you also track the release number and is that uh, error tracking built for community so you can so since it's the open source project you can share with uh, your friends and uh, with your uh, colleague you you can resolve it accordingly so i have exception i will create an event of it and unable to resolve it i will share across the community for example github jira and other people can help you out so this is the uh, beauty of sentry tool okay so what you need to do first you need to create workspace okay and uh, i have created project say uh, in click on the java create project and uh, here you will uh, <clears throat> after create project you will also see that sentry also give that this is the dependencies available so you just put in the pom.xml so that's it for the creating workspace at the sentry after logging into sentry okay now how to use sentry is not only just put in the pom.xml and the sentry will capture no here first you have to initialize right how to initialize so you need to have that dsn number so in the uh, online you will find in the setting you will click on the client keys or the dsn so you have to put the dsn number in from where exception thrown right sentry dot in it initialize the dsn number so i have put in the class level also you can uh, i i will put a letter in the properties file so you, you can just uh, when you download it you don't have to change java class you can just change the properties okay and after uh, catching the exception so uh, before you are getting response so I have done the post mapping uh, sentry dot capture capture that event and you will get that error in the sentry in the issue right here what I have done that uh, throwing exception service not found exception right you will get service not found exception also message service not available for your location so this is the way you can do that now let us uh, do the step by step <coughs> first uh, you have to uh, make entry in the pom.xml io.sentry and uh, i have done for the uh, spring right 
and uh, here what i have done i have make configuration file at the rate configure and you have to make that bin definition right uh, handler exception sentry uh, so you can give any method name and finally you return the io.sentry.spring.sentry exception resolver okay so this bin you need to define in the configuration and in the controller <coughs> I have give a uh, uh, controller using post mapping as you, as you know that at the rate request body courier request everything have that getter setter method no argument constructor argument constructor as well as two string I have done or alternatively you can use the lombok and the response also that what you want in the response in the date also you can give accordingly system date so this is the controller and the model object okay and the configuration and the form.xml now what is present in the service again revisit it <coughs> what i have done i have created one function okay so this function whatever the value you give in randomly it will give one uh, random next boolean what do you mean by random here so it's a uh, anytime sometimes it will give true sometimes it will give false because we we are not uh, testing the actual e production issue it's uh, i'm expecting that if some issues coming is it will be false so i have uh, done some imaginary that fail like sometimes fail sometimes success it's not like i am giving all time fail i'm giving sometimes true sometimes false if it is sometimes false or fail it will coming as a true then it will throw exception and it will capture in the sentry dot capture and it will return response and the when sentry dot capture it will go to the sentry and you have to initialize that this is the dsn of it okay now we need to hit the rest web service okay so hitting the rest web service uh, i tactically uh, make that swagger right i don't have to uh, like uh, uh, again postman hit so here i just uh, uh, in postman uh, you uh, any request body it's already in build so it will reduce my effort okay and error tracking you will see that uh, service not found exception and the message is there and also stretch is there so this way you can handle it properly and other thing see my email address i get in email notification as well so you will get email notification for the error you will get any uh, issue uh, in the online you will find it okay you can track it so it will be easy to track so thank you very much